We're going to get ready to go into our second fight, John Mitchell versus Nate Koch. And I defer to you, as always, as the operator of FightMichigan.com. TJ, what do you know about these two guys? Um, I'm not familiar with either of these two names yet. I would say these are probably debut having not known their records. Um, but we'll see what, it, what Pete announces them at. All right, fight fans. And I gotta let you guys know, I mean, we're doing this on the fly. You know, a lot of, TJ and I are familiar with a lot of these fighters, but we're gonna see a lot of fighters for the first time tonight. Because they not only yeah, bring you all these guys, all your future UFC you stars, you see them at shows boxing. like this first. So these your guys are just getting their feet under them and just getting their careers division. underway. Are you ready for it, Gibraltar? Say hell yeah. Making his way to the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Nathan Cook. Nathan Cook. Okay, not touch. Got to make a little, little note here on the program as I draw around the blood for my last fight. Yeah, I think a lot of times, you know, that last fight was pretty close to a debut, and a lot of the debut fights are really fun to watch, I think, because a lot of these guys really come out with something to prove. Yeah. Now this is going to be a little bit of a change of pace. It's going to be a kickboxing match. Oh, excellent. You can see a little so, bit of striking here. So we're going to see the big gloves, the shin guards. Yeah, these kickboxing matches kind of remind me of when Chuck Norris had his World Combat League. It was a really interesting format. It's always kind of fun because it's, you, even though kickboxing is what they say, I mean, a lot of these guys have different backgrounds. I've seen some very interesting fights with guys with Muay Thai backgrounds competing against guys with like the Taekwondo, karate backgrounds. Makes for very interesting contrast of style fights. Yeah, um, and also since this is a kickboxing match, this will be five two-minute rounds, which will keep the pace a little faster. Well, I see the guys from Ann Arbor MMA over there in the far corner. That's a good sign. Those guys are putting in work out there in Ann Arbor town on a regular basis. A lot of good fighters his coming out of Ann Arbor. Oh, yes. Making his way out to the blue corner. Please welcome John Mitchell. Well, being from Ann Arbor MMA, um, that's Danny McIntyre's gym, and Danny is a pro fighter himself, very established, so really humble guy, really cool guy to talk to, excellent referee, excellent fighter. All right, John Mitchell looks like he's representing MECS. Got his groove on, got his game face on, ready to roll. Looks ready to go. as John Mitchell gets into the cage. Now, you know, I'm not quite sure of the rules here. I, I was under the impression that the kickboxing, they would be having headgear. I don't know if there's been a last minute decision into not into foregoing the headgear. That could be. I think with the shin pads and the 16 ounce gloves, headgear might be a little excessive. <laughs> I mean, safety first always, but that's just, you know, I'm kind of an old school guy. <laughs> Love that. Now, this kick, our first kickboxing match tonight is brought to us by Artistic Superstition Tattoo. Here we go, fight fans. The following contest is being brought to you by Braze Hamburgers. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks trimmed in red and white. Standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, he weighed in at 155 pounds. He's a kickboxing specialist representing Ann Arbor MMA. Fighting out of Dexter, Michigan, here is Nathan Stone Cook! His opponent across.
across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks trimmed in gray. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, he also weighed in at 155 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist, fighting out of the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John the Baby Face Killer Mitchell. And this is Ashley, guys. This kickboxing exhibition is scheduled for five two-minute rounds. Referee Josh Shortstack Robinson. All right, Shortstack is going to get this fight underway. Here we go. Fighters touch gloves. Looks like Ooh, uh, nice left, left nice hook. Left, nice left hook. Mitchell taking the center of the octagon. He's chewing on his mouthpiece, though. I see this a lot, and it's not a good idea. It's a habit. A lot of people do it. Probably not a good idea, though. Big hooks to the body. Yeah, I think that comes with nervousness and also kind of being used to sparring, not yeah. fighting. Because when I started boxing, I had the same bad habit. <laughs> yeah, Mitchell's got some solid hands here. His hands are keeping, he's coming in. I think he's trying to bait him in by putting his hands low, it looks like. Oh, yeah, he's giving him the bring it on. One thing I don't like about Mitchell's style, I mean, you know, right now he's landing some big shots. I mean, he's throwing some looping punches. Good kicks, but looping punches. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Um, Cook is going to bide his time and wait for that one shot, and he might get it. Cook, I mean, even though a lot of heavy leather's been thrown at him, composure is still there. Good head movement. Yeah, he's just waiting, waiting to see. I think he's trying, I mean, realistically, I think he's letting Mitchell kind of establish what he does, and he's trying to figure out his defense for it. You see that with a lot of counter strikers. They'll give you a minute to do what you got to do, and then they'll start combating and taking you apart. Yeah. Yeah, I suspect that's what he's doing here. He's going to wait and see if um, if John's going to keep pushing the pace like this. He'll probably try to get him to burn his arms out a little bit and then wait for that one opening when he comes in with his hands down like that and go right down the pipe. John's definitely got timing on those punches, though. Big right roundhouse kick to the leg. Yeah, right on the perineal nerve and now, once and twice. And now Cook's finding a home for that right kick. Oh, wait a wow, jab. Wow. I heard both of those shots very clearly, Case. <laughs> Tough round. Cook looks very fundamental. No. Very nice uh, leg kicks. Looks like he started finding a home for them, and then as that round kind of progressed, it seemed like he was getting uh, Mitchell's timing. I mean, Mitchell wasn't mixing it up a whole lot. He was throwing big looping shots to the, to the body. Yeah, even with those shin guards on, you're going to see his um, Mitchell's forward movement is going to slow down a whole lot if he takes many more of those on the perineal nerve. Now, not to take too much away from the fighters, but our uh, ring girl, Bridget, who just walked by us, uh, NPC competitor and uh, fitness and bikini division winner. Yeah, spandex and MMA, by far two of man's best creations. Seconds out, seconds out. Getting the seconds out, and we're going to get this second round underway. Here's a touch, and here we go. Let's see if Cook's a little bit more offensive, and, and so he tries to set the pace this time. Yeah, he looks to be a little more aggressive coming in now. Ooh, caught one straight down the middle. That jab was right on the ball. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now he's going for the hooks. Good head movement, trying to get into a good position. To ooh, now we're seeing some Muay Thai clinching. Referee Josh Robinson reminding the competitors this is not a Muay Thai competition. This is kickboxing rules of more of American style. Wow. Mitchell's still putting together these three and four piece combos. Ooh, that was back of the head, but. All right. And also, Cook looks like he's a little bit cut over the left side of his lip. Oh, yep, yeah, a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I felt that from here.
Yeah, he's now walking with his his rear leg pretty straight and stiff now. This is going to start to affect his movement real soon. Yep, he's having a hard time getting out of the way. Cook has found that opening he'd been waiting for this whole time. Oh, uppercuts. Nice. Mitchell looks at him like he's not faded, but um, I'd say he's rocked a bit. Those were some hard uppercuts. Yeah, Mitchell's not moving well. I mean, first round he'd have been circling to his left trying to get out of there, but right now he's kind of stationary. Oh! And again he finds a hole for that leg. Right on the side of the knee of his lead leg, man. His hands are down at his side. Stack's going to call this a standing knockout if he keeps doing that. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Is Mitchell going to survive the round? That's what I want to know. He's definitely taking some, man, one, two, one, two, one, two. Robinson, and Robinson right in there. Hey, 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 yeah, he, um, Cook threw several left-right combos. From my angle, every one of them landed right at the end of that round. Tough fight to score. I mean, Mit Mitchell was very busy that first round, but I mean, that last round was definitely more of Cook's round. Yeah, yeah, Mitchell needs to get those hands up. He can't keep eating those. Those Mitchell hooks and those uppercuts will put him to sleep if he keeps his hands down. Well, Mitchell's going to start checking some of those leg kicks, too. I mean, yeah. Cook found a home for that, that leg kick, and he kept going back to the well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cook is putting that leg and that kick in with such perfect combos, it's going to be hard to catch and check that. He's mixing up really well. Seconds out. Seconds out. Let's get to round three. All right, going into the third round of this kickboxing match. Three in this kickboxing exhibition. Cook versus Mitchell. I, I find this very interesting. I mean, the, the facial expression on Mitchell. The smile is gone. He's in a fight now. Yeah, he, he drew a really deep breath before the start of that round. Yeah. And, I mean, Cook, this is business as usual. Again, starts off that right that right leg kick to the left leg of, of Mitchell. Yeah, I think the tide is starting to turn here. Cook still looks pretty composed. He looks really fresh. His cardio looks great. Mitchell, on the other hand, looks like he's starting to wear down a little bit. Because he did blow a lot of gas so far. I mean, Cook's very fundamentally sound. No wasted movement. Ooh. Jab right on the nose. And another right on the button. And another tough leg kick. Yeah! Line them up! Yeah, at this point, those leg kicks to that lead leg are really going to start to affect him. I don't think he can even shoot in that hard anymore. Shoot in for the strike, I should say. And again, he's got him up in the cage. He's looking to finish this fight. Josh Robinson giving him a standing eight count. Yep, he's still reacting. Fight goes on. Fight goes on. Yeah, Mitchell's going to have to finish this real soon here because Cook looks still very fresh. Oh, crippling body low. shot. That is it. I don't, oh, was it low? Was it low? I don't know if it was low or not, but it was definitely a hard shot to the lower abdomen area. Okay, fight goes on. We're in the third round. Ooh, another hard body shot. And at this point, Mitchell, Mitchell has to straighten up some of his shots. He can't just try to throw big looping lead lefts. Yeah. His technique seems to be fading with uh, his cardio at this point. Well, you know, he had that technique in the beginning of the fight, but he could throw it aggressively, full speed, but that takes a lot out of you. And yeah. then once you, once Cook's seen it, he's blocking it, bobbing and weaving from it, and then going right into his attack and putting nice combinations together. Oh, Blue Corner is saying they are done. All right, Mitchell this is fight done. is over. Your winner by technical knockout, Nate uh, Cook. That may be verbal submission. We'll see what they call it. Or corner stoppage more appropriately because his corner is actually the one that said that.
either way, it was still a great fight. Um, Mitchell came out really strong. Unfortunately, the lactic acid build up in his arms. He couldn't keep that pace. And Cook just bowed his time and took over. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands for both of these young guys in the cage right now. After three rounds of action, John Mitchell cannot answer the bell for the fourth round. Therefore, your winner, Nathan Stone! Definitely a great display by both guys, that is for sure, and I'm sure we'll see them both again soon. full-time in MMA. Great striking. I really liked it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see him transition if he does the MMA thing and see how his ground game is because his striking is on point. Definitely. 